Hello guys, another weekend, another hike. And today I picked up the bigger backpack and I packed some firewood and something uh, to make a lunch out of. I'm going to um, Murray Haya. Come join me. I guess this means that I'm on the right way. That's one massive ant hill. And uh, I imagine they're asleep or something inside there now hibernating maybe I have no knowledge about dance <laughs> Isn't it funny how they suddenly just change the names on the signs? <coughs> I'm not going there. I know I'm going this way. But uh, that's not the name. <laughs> Maybe a local name. That's climb with this backpack. Yeah. Take it as exercise. <laughs> I don't know if it's visible by the camera, but it has started to snow ever so slightly.
I guess this tree has seen uh, better days. When looking around, there is not much the trees that are taller than me. Um, but then there is these two gigantic boulders. <laughs> maybe, maybe they were brought here during the last ice age, probably. And those kind of boulders are uh, a lot present in uh, Norwegian's folklore and it's said that it's the trolls who toss them especially on churches and stuff because the trolls did not like the Christians <laughs> But facts, they're probably from the last ice age, not by any trolls. this if this ain't perfect for meal prep I have no idea what is this is what I brought today we have some cream for uh, cooking pasta red wine sausage onion mushrooms cheese and uh, in this lovely box there is some butter for the pan we have to start off with the red wine sausage think that's enough. These are tiny ones so I'm just going to cut them in into three. And one last one. It's a tiny one, two for that.
I have to admit that that was one of the better meals I've had outdoors in a long time. <laughs> Now, with a full stomach, I'm heading back down. When I walked up here, it started to snow a little. You can still see some of the snowflakes on the, on the ground. But now, there's blue skies and the sun is shining. It couldn't be better actually. Almost no wind either. In between those trees, just down there. You can see the sea and you can actually see far beyond the fjord in this fantastic weather and on top here I don't know if this will be visible on the final film but I took some pictures too you can see some snowy mountains in the distance there. And of course there is snow here too, but it's something special about seeing the snowy mountains in the distance. And you can actually see the sea out there too. Maybe it's a bit hard. I can barely see it with my with my eyes here because of the sun. But I'm not complaining.
look at this tree. <laughs> I don't know if this is the weather or if it's some kind of disease. There's a lot of trees with weird shapes around here. Maybe it's because of the weather. It's, it, uh, it's quite harsh up here when it starts to blow because of the low vegetation. You can see up there too, these two trees, quite strangely shaped. So nice feeling the warmth of the sun, even in the forest, like this. It's not too cold, it's not too warm. It's, frankly, it's perfect, <laughs> at least for the amount of clothes I'm wearing. That's kind of hard to anticipate sometimes, how much clothes you, you need, because you're hiking you get warm and sweaty and then you stop for a break and you get cold because of the sweat of course and uh, finding that balance of not getting too warm while hiking and not too cold while having a break <laughs> that, uh, that does not only take practice but uh, knowledge too and I guess I was lucky this time. <laughs> Saw this on the way up. And this is a swamp or uh, marge, if you, if you may. And look at all those seemingly dead trees standing in the middle. <laughs> Fascinating things in the nature. Always, instead of looking straight down while walking, try look up and around and you'll see things you've never seen before. It is worth it, at least in my experience. When you get the power of wind, massive trees do not stand a chance. There's fallen trees everywhere.
I didn't see this when I first walked up. But this looks like a Christmas tree. at this wall. <clears throat> Maybe it was part of a dam from this lake. Or maybe it was something different. I have no idea. I know nothing about this place, history-wise. But seeing these old stone structures, <coughs> it definitely was some kind of wall. And uh, you can see the water going through. So most likely it was some kind of dam. Probably for, for ice or something like that. This is probably one of the best purchases I've done in quite a while. Studs for my shoes, so I don't slip and slide on, on my hikes or when I'm blowing the snow at home. It's no problem walking um, on this, apparently. <laughs> Slippy ice, ice and snow. Absolutely a great purchase.
getting closer to the car now. And I just wanted to say thank you for joining me on this hike and the meal prep. And I hope I see you guys next time. And in the meantime, please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video like this comes out. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It will help me a lot. See you guys next time.